the numbers that govern the operation of the universe are so perfectly set that it defies the explanation. It could have happened by chance. Let me give you some examples. We all know what gravity is, right? Well, imagine a ruler that goes across the entire universe. Not the solar system, the universe. What, 15 billion light years or something? Goes all the way across the universe. And it's broken down into one-inch increments. Got that? That represents the range along which plausibly gravity could have been set. It could have been set anywhere along that ruler, and yet it happens to be set at the very exact place so that life can exist. How precise is it? If you were to change the setting of gravity one inch on that ruler compared to the billions of light years that the universe is wide, change it one inch, intelligent life becomes impossible anywhere in the universe. That is how finely, and that's just one example. I'll give you another example. It's called the cosmological constant. Fancy term, it just means the energy density of space. And what you need to know about the cosmological constant is it has to be exactly perfect for the universe to exist. If the cosmological constant were a large positive number, planets and stars could never form. If it were a large negative number, the entire universe would just collapse upon itself. And yet, it's set at the exact place for life to exist. How finely tuned is it? It is finely tuned to one part in a hundred million, billion, 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 billion. How finely tuned is that? That would be like going on the moon and throwing a dart at planet Earth and hitting a predetermined bullseye that is one thousandth of one thousandth of an inch in diameter. That's how finely tuned it is. Now, <laughs> just take those two dials. Gravity and the cosmological constant. Put those two together, and the fine-tuning is to a precision of one part in a hundred million trillion 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 trillion. That's equal to one atom compared to all of the atoms in the entire universe. That is how finely tuned the two of those are. And again, there's 50 to 100 of these diameter, of these um, different uh, 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 dials that we could look at. I'll give you a couple of others. The odds against the initial conditions being suitable for the formation of stars is a one followed by a thousand billion billion zeros. Or get this, the strong nuclear force. That's the force that binds together the nucleus of atoms. If you were to change the strong nuclear force, just a tiny, tiny bit, change it by one part in 10,000 billion, 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 all that we would have in the universe would be hydrogen. Life would be impossible. 